Hey everyone, this is Goldie again and in this video I will show you how you can personalize your G Suite setup by adding your own logo which will appear on all your G Suite services. So I'll go ahead and log into my admin console. If you haven't done it yet, you need to just go to admin.google.com, log in with your administrator ID and password and you should be here at the admin console page. Once you're here you will see company profile. Click on that. There you will see a few options regarding personalization which we will cover in uh, next videos but for this one I'll click on personalization which says upload your company logo. Now by default you will see that it will be uh, to Google's logo and you will see that when you log into all your services but you have an option to customize that by adding your own logo. Now Google is very specific about the logo size so you need to make sure that the logo that you upload here should be uh, 320 to 132 pixels and that file size should not be more than 30 kilobytes and you should not be including any of the trademarks. My assumption is that you're a business and you already have a logo. You might need to adjust the size as per the requirements to upload it, but I am an individual, so what I did, I simply went to uh, Canva. I can use the dimensions, for example, uh, 320 into 132. And by the way, Canva is a tool which can help you create graphics most of the time for free based on your uh, requirements so I'll go to background maybe I'll just I just changed the background then I went to text I added a subheading and I called it my name for example because I don't have a logo so and then I downloaded it and there I have my 132 320 to 132 file which I can simply uh, choose it and then I upload it after clicking on this upload button and my file will be uploaded successfully and then you make sure that you, this is clicked custom logo and Google also gives you an option to check this box in case if you want your logo to appear on the Google sites that your users might be creating for now I will keep this unchecked but it really depends on your preferences and I will save it once you save it you're all set you can go to any of the applications for example if I go to Google Drive I will see the logo that I uploaded instead of the by default Google logo that we had earlier. So I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions as usual, please feel free to put your comments below and I'll be happy to help. Thank you so much.